Hi, welcome back. In this tutorial we're going to continue looking at Zen Framework 2 and this time we're going to be looking at how we can build our own view helper. I'm going to go over the basic steps of how you can create your own view helper and then we're going to look at the code and dive in and actually go ahead and build one. So these are the basic steps. First thing we need to do is create a class for our view helper that extends the abstract helper class that lives inside the Zend view helper namespace. Next we need to override the invoke function and this is where all the logic belongs that makes up our view helper. As always within framework 2 we need some configuration to tell the application where to find our view helper and then finally we can go ahead and use our view helper in our view scripts. So we have our basic skeleton application up and running and we want to create a view helper that creates some text up in this area here. So at the moment inside our application module we just have the controller folder so we're going to go ahead and create a new folder called view and inside that a new folder called helper and we're going to create a new class so as always first thing we do is to define our namespace which is going to be application view going to use the Zen View Helper Abstract Helper because that's the class we want to extend. Our class is going to be called Text and we're going to extend Then we need to override the invoke function. This is where our logic is going to live for our view helper. We can do anything we want in here, but we just have to make sure that we return the text that we want to actually render. I'm just going to return some text. And that's it, that's our view helper. So then on to configuration to tell the application where we've placed that view helper. So we create a new key called view helpers. And inside there key called invocables and inside that we actually have our view helper which we call text and then we just need to tell it where our class lives which is application view helper text. And that's it, that's our configuration. So the last step is to actually use the view helper. We're going to modify our layout view script. And I'm going to create another unordered list. position the text so 
So then to use our view helper all we need to do is echo this and then the name of our view helper which is text. And that's it. So all we really have there is echo this text. Save that. Go back to our application. Refresh the screen. And you can see there we have it. Just to prove that that is actually being driven from our view helper, we just go back to our view helper, change the text it outputs to something else, and then just refresh our screen. And you can see it is indeed driving our text up there. So that's it. So just to reiterate, the four steps we had to do was to extend the abstract helper class, override the invoke function, create a little bit of configuration, and then we can actually use the view helper in our view scripts. I hope that was helpful, and look out for my next video, and I'll see you soon.